Did you know about these construction projects that didn't go as planned? From iconic landmarks, born out of mistakes to tragic collapses, here are the top five. Let's begin with. Number five, Lotus Riverside Complex in China. China is famous for its fast and huge construction projects due to its large population. In 2021, they built over 6 million homes, making it the world's biggest construction and real estate industry. However, because of its massive scale, tight schedules, and profit goals, China's construction industry sometimes prioritizes speed over quality. One incident that highlights this issue was the collapse of an entire apartment building at the Lotus Riverside Complex in Shanghai. On June 27, 2009, a 13-story building collapsed, narrowly avoiding nearby structures. Sadly, one worker inside the building died during the collapse. The initial investigation suggested that excavation for an underground garage caused the building's foundations to weaken, ultimately leading to the collapse. More troublingly, it was revealed that the supervising company had warned the construction firm about potential dangers before the incident. However, because the construction firm hired the supervising company, there was a conflict of interest. The construction firm could delay or reduce the supervising company's fees if they reported problems to the quality control department. Following the building's collapse, nine individuals from Shanghai Zhongxin Construction were detained for further investigation. Many property buyers who had purchased homes from the developer demanded refunds or compensation. Number 4. Intempo Skyscraper The Intempo Skyscraper in Benidorm, Spain is the tallest residential building in the European Union, standing at over 200 meters with 47 floors. Construction began in 2006 after receiving a 92 million euro loan from Spanish savings bank Caixa Galicia. Originally, the project was supposed to be completed in just three years. However, construction was halted a year later due to the 2008 global financial crisis when the responsible construction company went bankrupt. There was a false rumor that there would be no elevators in the building. It received media attention, but the sales manager clarified that elevators were planned. Nevertheless, not everything went as planned. In 2010, a new company took over the project, but workers went unpaid for four months and threatened to strike. An elevator installed for the workers crashed, fortunately with no fatalities. Spain's real estate market recovered after the financial crisis, and Intempo was scheduled to be completed in early 2014. However, a year before the new date, the architects resigned without explaining why. The project's owner filed for bankruptcy a year later, leading to speculation that financial problems were behind the architect's departure. Intempo remained in limbo for several years. In 2017, a Connecticut-based company called SVP Global took over the project, invested 60 million euros, and successfully completed it despite the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic. Fifteen years after the construction first began, the skyscraper finally opened in 2021. Number 3. Aquedom. The Aquedom was a huge cylindrical aquarium in the Collection Hotel in Berlin, Germany. It was the world's largest of its kind, standing 25 meters tall and holding 1 million liters of water. The aquarium was home to over 1,500 tropical fish of 100 different species. It even had a clear elevator in the middle for hotel guests to see the fish up close. Maintaining the massive aquarium was important to keep the fish hotel guests, and spectators safe. However, on the morning of December 16, 2022, the whole aquarium burst, releasing a million liters of seawater into the hotel lobby and even onto the streets outside. The outburst caused serious damage to the hotel's interior and destroyed the entrance. The event was powerful enough to be detected on local seismographs. Fortunately, this happened early in the morning when few people were around. Only two people were injured and taken to the hospital. If it had occurred during a busier time, it could have been much worse. Investigations suggest that material fatigue was likely the cause of the aquarium's collapse. Experts believe that the significant temperature difference between the warm water inside the aquarium and the freezing cold air outside may have weakened the acrylic panels of the aquarium, leading to the breakage. Number 2. Tower of Pisa Surprisingly, the second one on the list is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Even though it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and attracts over 6 million visitors each year, this iconic Italian monument is actually the result of a construction error. The tower was built in the 13th century as a freestanding bell tower for the Pisa Cathedral. 
Its famous four-degree tilt can be traced back to the very beginning of construction in 1173. The trouble started when they were building the second floor, and the tower began sinking into the ground on one side. This happened because it was constructed on unstable, loose ground, and the foundation was only three meters deep. So, the tower slowly started leaning because the ground couldn't support its weight. But how has the tower managed to stay standing all these years? It's partly because construction was paused for a long time due to conflicts in the Republic of Geno. This break allowed the ground to settle and harden over the years. As they resumed construction, the tower's tilt gradually got worse, and it was finally completed nearly two centuries after it was started. By the 1990s, the tilt had increased to around 5.5 degrees, and there were concerns it might collapse, especially after another tower in Pavia collapsed in 1989. So, the Italian government closed the Leaning Tower of Pisa to the public and took steps to stabilize it. They removed the bells from the top to reduce weight, and they installed cables and lead counterweights to lessen the tilt. By the early 2000s, they had reduced the tilt to just under 4 degrees. Today, the Leaning Tower of Pisa remains one of Italy's most visited monuments, all because of a construction mistake made over 800 years ago that gave it its unique tilt. Sometimes, even mistakes can turn out to be a good thing. Finally, let's talk about number one, the Sampoon department store. In the late 1980s, Seoul, South Korea was booming with construction and development, especially with the upcoming 1988 Summer Olympics. Many buildings went up in a hurry during this time. One of them was the Sampoon department store, a nine-story shopping mall in a busy part of Seoul. Originally, they planned to build apartments, but the head of the Sampoon Group's construction division, Lee Jun, decided to change it to a department store. This change led to removing some crucial support columns to fit in escalators and an extra floor. The original construction company raised concerns, but Lee Jun replaced them with his own. The department store was finished in just two years and quickly became one of the area's most successful businesses, drawing around 40,000 people every day. But in 1995, cracks appeared on the top floor and despite the warning signs, Lee Jun refused to evacuate the building, fearing financial losses. On June 29, 1995, at 5.52 p.m., the store started making cracking sounds. Workers began to evacuate customers and staff, but it was too late. The roof collapsed onto the lower floors, and over 1,500 people were trapped in the rubble. This disaster claimed the lives of 502 people and remains the largest peacetime disaster in South Korean history. Afterward, Lee Jun, his son, and others in his company were found guilty of negligence and sentenced to over 10 years in prison. It also exposed corruption in the construction industry, with city officials taking bribes. They, too, were sentenced to 10 years in prison. Today, the site of the Sampoon department store has been sold to a private developer, and a luxury apartment complex now stands there. A memorial was built elsewhere to remember the tragedy. If you know of any similar construction mistakes or have ideas for future topics, let us know in the comments. Subscribe to our channel for more, and thanks for watching.